Hi booktube, it's Missy and today I'm here to share with you guys my weekly wrap up for week 39. This week I read four books so go me. The first book that I want to talk about is The Creeping by Alexandra Sarari. I believe that's how you say her name. Uh, this is a YA mystery thriller that I gave five stars to. I absolutely loved this book. Not only is it creepy and it has a creepy like monster in it but it's atmospheric and I wasn't irritated with the characters and so that's always good. Uh, this story is about two girls Stella and Jeannie that go into the woods and they're six years old and Stella comes out by herself. Nobody knows what happens to Jeannie. They never find the body. She's just gone. Um, Stella doesn't remember anything. 11 years pass. She still doesn't remember anything that happened when she was six. And now that the anniversary of Jeannie's disappearance is coming, uh, the kids in town are deciding that they're going to have a party, uh, kind of like to celebrate Jeannie's life. That's what they call it, but really they're just getting ready to drink and have a bonfire. Um, anywho, at this bonfire party, Stella uh, comes across a new dead body that reminds her exactly of Jeannie and that starts the tumbling effect um, where the story gets really really good. I, like I said, absolutely loved it. Um, there's a small romance in this book so just so you guys are warned. Uh, it's between Stella and her friend from childhood so it wasn't like a love at first sight but it was still really cheesy. Uh, I enjoyed it for the most part, um, but again, kind of gag me. He was very sweet though, so I have to be nice. Um, also, Zoe is her best friend. Zoe drives me crazy. She's so mean, but in a loving way? I don't know. I, I have had friends like that in the past where they thought they were better than you, but then they were very loyal. I don't know. But anyways, I really, really enjoyed this book. If you're looking for a very creepy, uh, you don't know if it's paranormal or real or what have you kind of mystery thriller for this October, you still have time before October's over, I would definitely check out The Creeping. It was fantastic. The next book that I want to share with you is also a library book and so it's not here and that is De the dead girls of hysteria hall this is if i had to say uh like a scale of what kind of scary this book is i would say it was a two or a three it's on par with beetlejuice if you're scared of beetlejuice then you won't like this book it's got ghosts in it but it's not scary whatsoever um it's about a girl named Delia Piven who inherits a house from her old great aunt I think. Um, her aunt dies and leaves her this home so the entire family goes during the summer to check the house out to find out what they need to do in order to sell it. When they get to the house they realize it's not a house but it's a mental hospital for troubled women and so it goes from there. Um, it was very easy to read. I didn't connect with any of the characters. I didn't have any feelings for them, but I really enjoyed the book as an entertainment kind of read, if that makes sense. I give it four stars. I really enjoyed the book. I was definitely glued into what was going to happen, but it was, like I said, kind of like Beetlejuice, so wasn't wasn't drawn into it. I wasn't scared. I wasn't worried I just enjoyed reading it so take that with you know however you want and then the third book that I read this week was Return to the Dark House by Laura Laura yeah Laurie Ferrara Stolarts this is the sequel to Welcome to the Dark House um, Welcome to the Dark House I gave five stars to this one I gave 3.5 stars to this one was not as good and here's why. In the first book there was a lot of action, a lot of things were going on, um, you met a whole bunch of people and it was a super slasher YA book which I absolutely loved. This is um, a sequel, right? 
but it's the sequel to the movie that was being made in the first book and so this is more of a cat and mouse chase there's not that much action it's very slow moving um, it's definitely creepy the house in this book I would want to be turned into some kind of amusement um, ride or uh, something that you could actually interact with like you know how you go to um, corn mazes or what have you this would be cool if you could actually go to this house in real life um, get a bunch of clues that you need to follow and figure out and then reach the end with whatever prize that you need to get that would be amazing and I really did enjoy the book for that reason um, but like I said it was very slow and nothing really happened and I it left off on a cliffhanger I don't know if there's gonna be a third book in this series it seems like there should be but if it's not then it's kind of a disappointment um but yeah it was pretty good I liked the first one a lot more and finally I read Sleepy Hollow on my Kindle. Um, it took me about two hours to read the entire thing. It's about 90 pages. Um, it was really good. I had the Disney Ichabod Crane Sleepy Hollow cartoon in my head the entire time I was reading this book. And it pretty much, for the most part, followed the cartoon accurately. Um, nothing too crazy happened. If you guys know about Sleepy Hollow, then this book is way easy to read. If you have never heard of Sleepy Hollow, it's about Ichabod Crane, who is a school teacher who goes to Sleepy Hollow, New York to teach in this village. While he's in this village, he falls in love with Katrina Van Tassel and, you know, wants to marry her, but she says no and he's sad. <laughs> and he rides into the woods to go home and meets the Headless Horseman and then nobody knows what happens to him after that. They never find a body. And that's basically it. It was a fun read. I gave it four stars because it was very nostalgic of my childhood and again it was easy to read. I've already known the story before going into it so I was familiar and that was made it easier. Um, yeah, and that's it. That was my four books that I read this week. Week? This week. I hope you guys had a wonderful week last week. What kind of books did you read? Are you doing the theme for October where it's like horror books? I am absolutely loving the fact that I am getting on with the horror books and I'm doing a really good job at it. I... Haven't reached 15 yet, but I believe I've read six. Six so far? That was four. Yeah, I've read six books so far, so I'm on a roll. I should be done with two more soon, so wish me luck. I gotta get to 15 to do the 15 and 31 challenge. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week this week, and I will talk to you soon.